In this video, we will cover information about additional federal direct loan requirements. If you have decided to accept your federal direct subsidized or unsubsidized loan, there are still a few more steps to complete before those funds can disperse to your account. Navigate to the website studentaid.gov. Log into your account using your FSA ID. This is the same portal you use to complete your FAFSA and the login information will be the same. In order to receive your federal direct loans, you will also need to complete entrance counseling and a master promissory note or MPN. Entrance counseling is a mandatory process designed to help borrowers gain an understanding of the responsibilities associated with borrowing a federal loan. It will walk borrowers through repayment options and how interest accrues and is capitalized. This must be completed the first time you borrow a federal loan. The Master Promissory Note, or MPN, is a legal document in which you promise to pay your loans and any accrued interest and fees to the Department of Education. It is important to review the MPN and keep a copy of it because it explains the terms and conditions of your loan. As an undergraduate, your MPN is good for up to 10 years and can cover more than one loan as long as the school is authorized and chooses to use the MPN in this way. If your parent has opted to take out a Parent PLUS loan, they will also need to complete their own MPN. They must be sure to log in to studentaid.gov using their own FSA ID. We cannot use a Parent PLUS loan MPN that has been completed by the student since the loan is in the parent's name. Once you have completed your entrance counseling and master promissory note, the Department of Education will send them to the Office of Financial Aid and you will see them satisfied in your requirements section. It typically takes between 48 and 72 hours from the time of completion for our office to receive these documents. Remember, your loans cannot disperse until these two items have been completed.